This video will familiarize you with the fundamentals of data processing on Snowflake in Diota. Earlier in the data ingestion tutorial, we demonstrated how to ingest external data into a Snowflake environment. In this demonstration, we will use that ingested data for performing simple transformations before finally placing processed data into a target table within Snowflake. Diota also allows the ability to process data in a Snowflake environment and provision the result set into a different target data point. Unlike other tools, Diota creates native instructions that are pushed down to the processing platform for execution. Hence, there's no intermediate conversion or processing zone. In this video, we will apply simple transformations within the data flow using joiner, temporary stage, and filter transformations prior to loading the results into the target table. Let's get started and review the detailed steps involved in this process. Data processing in Diota is performed using the transformations within the data flow. Diota provides various set-based transformations such as joiner, splitter, filter, rollup, and union as data moves from the source to target. Diota exposes all the native functions of the processing platform, in this case, Snowflake, as functions that can be applied as per the business rules. Additionally, we can create user-defined functions, or UDFs, and leverage them inside the data flow using expression transformations. Let's use the data objects we have imported using the Snowflake data point that we created earlier. Let's start by creating a new Snowflake data flow. Drag the Snowflake source data object from the Sources section and select the data objects that we require for processing. We will select the department and employee data objects that we imported earlier. Toggle the interactive button to on mode to enable the view data feature for the objects in the data flow. Let's view the employee data in the lower pane to see if the source data is as desired. Let's join the employee and department to the department ID by using the joiner properties. We can validate the joiner condition here by clicking on Validate. Click OK to proceed to the next step. Next, click on the Attributes tab and select the attributes needed for the transformation. We can verify the join condition and the selected attributes by clicking on the Data tab in the lower pane. Verify that our logic is as expected during the transformation process. Let's add a temporary stage or T stage transform. Temporary stage transform is useful when we want to hold the results in a transient table temporarily. Let's link joiner to T stage and map the attributes for T stage. We can view the T stage data. This represents that the transient T stage table holds the joiner data. Next, we will use a splitter to split the data flow pipeline into two separate pipelines. Let's link T-Stage to the splitter. In order to generate the department reports for administration and operations, we will use two splitter conditions on department ID. Provide the condition for the operations department. Let's add another condition for the administration department. Next, let's define the target object where we need to load the resulting data set. In this example, we will use predefined target tables in Snowflake. Click on Snowflake in the Target section, select the target tables, and it will appear on the data flow canvas. Link Splitter to target objects respectively based on the conditions and on the Attribute Mapper tab. Auto map the attributes for each target. Click on Save and then run to execute the data flow. To check the execution status, either click on View Execution Status or go to the Activity screen in the Monitor module. As we can see here, our data flow has run successfully, and the records have been loaded into two target tables after processing. Expand the data flow and view the units within the data flow as well as statistics. Let's verify the data in the target database using the View Data feature in the Studio. To view data, go to the data flow, click the target object, and then click on the data tab in the lower pane. The data has been processed as expected.
natively on Snowflake, and the process data has been loaded into the target tables. To orchestrate this data flow as a job, we can create this as a job flow, add parameters, and define dependencies on other jobs. We can also orchestrate via File Watcher or time-based triggers and schedule the job flows via Diota Scheduler or any externally available scheduler. This concludes the short tutorial on data processing into Snowflake instance using Diota. Thanks for watching. Visit support.diota.com for additional knowledge base articles and tutorials.